All right, so let's say you're using our bib number web app from your phone or tablet that as people came through the finish shoot, you were typing in on your device their bib numbers and uh, you know you got them and you got them in order and they're, they're good and you're ready to import them. Well, what you would do in the bib number app, there's an option after you're done to send to race tab. So hopefully you do that. You click the send to race tab button. But now in race tab, how do you get them into the event you want them in? Simple. So all I got to do is I'm going to click on this time slash bibs. What I'm going to see here is a previously saved sessions. And this is going to be both a mixture of if I had any stopwatch sessions that we did the times right in race tab, those would be listed here. Um, but also this right here that's currently highlighted is the bib number session that was sent into race tab from the app. You see over here that says the type is bibs. It has the name that we assigned it in that bib number application. And we can even view this if we want to, if we highlight it and click the edit button, we see the bib numbers that we typed in on the device. And we could, you know, in theory, do any edits if we needed to do some edits from there as well. So all we do is we select that over here. And on this side, we choose what event we want to import that into. And uh, just so I have no gender conflicts, as I've just kind of made up the bib numbers, I'm going to import it into this master's Division USATF Mixed Masters 5K. I'm going to say override, overwrite instead of append. And so I'm going to say apply to event. And now if I go to that Mixed Masters event, all the people came in from the bib numbers from the app. And now, so what we do in theory, if we had the times from the stopwatch app or wherever we have the times from, we'd import the times, it'd fill in the times column and we'd be done.